Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for June 28th to the 29th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Pisces. What is going on with Pisces in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know for June 28th to the 29th of 2022 for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have fairy glamour. So clearly you're getting dressed up, going out. So maybe you have a date or some type of plan. We have stag beetle tenacity. Okay, I feel like, okay. So I see that you're getting ready to go somewhere. This has been a long time coming. You planned this for like a week in advance. And I feel like at the very last second, all these roadblocks are coming in to try to stop you from getting where you're trying to go. But you end up getting there anyway. You're like you... You're really determined not to let this stop you with um, tenacity here. Because I feel like maybe, for instance, you're getting ready to go somewhere and your car breaks down or your dress rips. You get a new dress or you sew it and fix it. Or like your car breaks down and you get an Uber. I feel like it's so many things trying to get in your way of this event that you've been planning for the longest. We have, yeah, Dragon Emergence. So you look really, really good. Wherever you're about to go, your your outfit is perfect. You look really nice. And it's like all these things try to get in your way to stop you. But of course, again, it does not affect you at all. Overall energy, uh, overall energy is back direction. I feel like the main thing here is traffic. So make sure you check your GPS in the news or whatever outlet lets you know what traffic is going to be like at what time in that area on that day. And check it again on that day. Like continuously check it. <laughs> Because I feel like there's going to be some type of like traffic or roadblock that's going to cause you to be an hour late to something. I am literally seeing you be in, stuck in traffic for like an hour. So please plan ahead. But let's get into the tarot and get more information for Pisces. Next 48 hours for Pisces. June 28th to the 29th of 2022 for Pisces. Yeah, this is all to do with, I don't, I don't want to say map quest because I know that's so like dated, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing map quest or any type of map you have on your phone, really, any type of GPS system, even if it's just in your car, not even on your phone with that direction, I'm seeing it as a GPS system. You're really going to have to rely on that. Ways ways tells you about traffic, so you may want to download that. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something that's been in the works, in the making with the Seven of Pentacles, something that's been going on for a while or been planned for a while. With Fairy Glamour, maybe you've been waiting on this dress. Maybe it's custom or this suit or whatever. Yeah, Page of Cups, and it turns out really, really well. Also, this invitation you've been waiting on. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you're kind of nervous about this um, invitation or this date. But you look really nice. Everything's going to turn out really nice. We have the Hangman Pisces with Dragon Emergence. So, you get really anxious and you think about backing out. Don't do that. Go, please. Over on Jesus, Sun, Leo. So, yeah, I love that the over on Jesus, Sun... Clarity, warmth, radiance, love, one of the, the happiest cards of the tarot. So again, everything's going to turn out fine. You are meant to go to whatever this event is and you look great. I just feel like you're so nervous about something, not just the invitation because everything turned out well. I feel like you're worried about it turning out well. What? Clarify this for Pisces. That doesn't sound right. What are you worried about? Clarify this for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. Because I'm seeing nothing but positivity here for you. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles is the magician, Gemini and Virgo. Yes, you literally manifest this for yourself. I feel like you planned this a long time ago. Well, planned, like, after you got the invitation, you planned all these, like, appointments to make yourself look really nice. And it works out well. You did your research. And um, the magician is also Gemini and Virgo, Page of Wands. So, yes, you um you may have asked around about the perfect um, stylist to go to for your hair or, or makeup or clothes or whatever. And 
those people have openings for you around this exact time. Like everything lines up perfectly. Clarifying the Page of Cups is the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign. I feel like this is the person that's going to help you make these appointments or this is the person who gives you your invitation. Is this Queen of Swords. They're delivering you... Um, they could be a Gemini with the Magician, but they're the ones who deliver you the good news. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Yes, this person, this Queen of Swords, delivers your good news. So, hmm. For some of you, you put in an application for something, you get approved with the Page of Pentacles. Regardless, you get good news back. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the King of Pentacles. And the Justice card, Libra. Okay. So um, on a smaller note for some of you, if you took some type of legal action, um, something's approved. I can't see exactly what it is, but I feel like you went and got something. You tried to go and get some paper approved for like maybe, whew, I really can't see what it is, but it's approved. <laughs> But on the other level of you going to this party or whatever this is, you're nervous about meeting this King of Pentacles, this earth sign. I wonder why. And I feel like they have something to do with um, you know, the Eight of Swords and the Justice card. I feel like they, in some way, shape, or form, helped you with this legal issue. I feel like this is kind of like a celebration of that. I feel like you got something approved for you to own. You got ownership of something. Yeah, we have three pages here as well. Someone's been trying to reach out to you for a minute. Or maybe you, I feel like honestly you've been doing research and all of it comes back. Like all your sources come back. Like everything you've been looking for, all the people you've been looking for to go to to get your hair, makeup, clothes, or whatever done. This person, this queen of swords comes back and tells you about all these people and gives you all these invites or all these appointments that are set for you. And it's around the perfect time. And then you're, you're nervous about meeting this earth sign. It could be a Libra for some of you. We have Pisces here and Leo and Gemini and Virgo. Clarifying the hangman is the, yeah, knight of wands. That is why you're worried. You don't want this to be like a, a one night stand thing or you don't want this to be like, you don't want to sleep around with this person. You don't want to play around. That's why you have the hangman. Okay, so I feel like this person, this king of pentacles with the justice card, they have like a, a government job or they're just like, you feel like they're mysterious or they're the type of person to just invite randoms places and just like have fling. And so you're nervous. You're like excited to go out with this person because they seem exciting and refreshing and the place they're taking you is really nice, but you're worried about this person's intentions. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're worried about this person's intentions. Overall energy is the higher font, Taurus. I, this person has the intention to give you a promotion. I don't see them trying to like sleep with you. You're worried that this person is just trying to like, yeah, sleep with you, but that's not their intention. You're gonna see with the sun card and the higher font that this person actually wants to give you a promotion when it comes to work. Also, if you're dating this person, this person actually wants to take the relationship to the next level with the Ace of Cups and the overall energy being the higher font. That's literally taking things to the next level. And with the Justice card, I feel like someone here was waiting for a divorce to be finalized. That is going to be finalized either if it's on your side or theirs or some type of legal separation. Because I feel like someone's really excited about the approval of something like le being legalized or being finalized, I should say. And it happens for you and you're celebrating like you're finally done. If something's finally over with. And then you go out and celebrate with this earth sign. I, I'm going to just say that this person has pure intentions with the Magician and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're worried that this person is playing around. Maybe they have multiple children with multiple different people and you're worried about that. And you think, I don't think you should be thinking about this person that way if you're trying to go out with them. But regardless, this person has genuine intentions. Yeah, with the hangman, I mean, if you want to hold off, 
on anything physical, then yeah, do so. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups here. So clearly this person wants to take things to the next level with you. I'm going to leave it there, though. Because I feel like you're more so nervous that this person is just like playing around. But they're not. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I sing peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.